Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. Today's video is a little bit different. We're not gonna, going to talk today about uh, pianos or keyboards or related equipment or accessories, but we're going to talk about visual or video and audio recording. And this is really cool because I'm recording this totally different. What you're seeing me on right now over there, it's a regular, you know, run of the mill camcorder type of thing. And what I wanted to talk about is when you have a professional uh, camera, like a Nikon or a Canon or Olympus or Sony, what you get is a really good camera and really bad audio. Unfortunately, professional cameras have really bad audio. So if you're using a professional camera and you want to get some really good quality audio with it, you're going to have to use something like a Zoom H4n or an H6 and attach it to your camera. And, you know, voila, now you've got the best of both worlds. Because you've got great video and great audio. Now, Zoom also makes a camera, the Q8. They make a few, but the Q8 is the top of the line right now for visual and audio recording. So what you get instead of the professional camera where you got a great camera and poor audio it's the complete opposite you've got a audio recorder with you know some decent or semi-decent camera to it now what's great about the camera that it's built into that is it's a widescreen camera so you can record a concert you can get the entire stage in that camera so that's really cool now you know it's the equivalent of like an h4 recorder or an h6 but what's also good about it is you can have four tracks with it so if the first two are your left and right stereo microphones that are built in and then you can add two other microphones so basically it's okay everything is done for you it's not like a professional photographer where you have control of all the manual settings so what you get is what you get. <laughs> you know, you can't control it. Uh, now, what if I were to tell you that there is a cell phone, a smartphone out there that is geared towards musicians and audiophiles, as well as professional photographers at the same time. This is the LG V20. And what's so awesome about that phone is... Um, You've got professional cameras built into there with two lenses, regular and a widescreen lens. And you have professional audio recorder built in with stereo mics and all that. But you have all the controls that you would have as a, a technician recording professional audio or professional video. Uh, as far as the cameras, whether you're using a, a the camera for photography or for movies, you got complete manual control. I mean, you can control things like the aperture, the shutter speed, and the ISO, and so on and so forth. You can have manual focus even, and this is unheard of in a cell phone camera. Uh, it's just amazing. So what I'm going to do today is I'm recording with each one of those cameras, the Zoom Q8 and the LG V20. Now, the LG V20 is probably the last of the cell phones that also offers a replaceable battery where you just pop off the back, pull out the battery, put a new one in. Try doing that with an iPhone. And you can replace the um, micro SD card with your own up to two terabytes. So, I mean, this is the perfect, the perfect smart cell phone for an audiophile, a concert goer, or a professional photographer, or both. So let's compare the Q8 that is specific to audio video for audiophiles and concert goers with the LG V20. Let's compare them. <laughs>
one sounded better to you. Anyway, you get the idea. So here you've got a phone that has this great uh, audio and visual interface to it, and you've got a dedicated camera. And you know what? Even though that phone was for $800, you could get it for about the same price as the Zoom Q8. Q8 lists for something like $500 or something like that, but you can get it for $349 just about anywhere. This is U.S. dollars. And the LG V20, you can get it for, I've seen it as low as $350 and, uh, you know, all the way up from there. So... You choose, but that phone is amazing. If I had to choose between one or the other, you know, whether I want to be, it depends on what I want to do. If I want four tracks or so and interchangeable microphones, yeah, I'd go with the Zoom. But I, as far as quality and something I can stick in my pocket and don't have to carry with me and I get really good quality with, I'd go with the LG V20. So... You decide. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.